Alright, my man, we got the one and only. <laughs> Been a long time, man. Yeah, I had to take a few. Mr. Kevin Williams on Real Talk with Nick, oh, man. What's off? Let somebody else up. How you been, man? I've been great, man. It's, it's been a while, man. Yeah, staying low, uh, humbling myself, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I see you came back with the with the with the Nick cap. Yeah, I'm a, you know, like I said, I'm I'm a Nick fan. I can root for the Knicks. I'm a New York, I root for the Knicks. Uh, you know, I'm not happy with Thibodeau and his rotations, but let's talk about Tibbs, man. You know, like y'all giving them all this credit. They finally made moves and assembled the team, but then with his coach and everybody got hurt. I predicted that. So it's not like I didn't say anything that I didn't know. So now they hurt. Now, we, how are you going to assemble this team and make sure it formulates and coagulates? That means come together all 12 guys. He doesn't do that. He only plays eight or nine guys. So now you're going to bring in three new guys that's originally starters. And you're going to bench three guys that have played their asses off. So how are you going to regulate minutes between that? Okay, so now he has to do that in order to be successful in this playoff run. Okay, now, before we go any further. No, 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 no. We, gonna, we got time. Oh, we got time. We got time to think because we're going to get into everything that needs to be discussed. We're going to talk about the postseason bum juice and Julius Randle. We're going to talk about Tom Dibodeau some yeah. more. We're going to talk yeah. a little bit some more about Tom Dibodeau. Those are yellow cabs that's going by for all you Nick fans out there that's sucking Randall. Now, um, KW, right? Uh -huh. A.K.A. Willpower. You played in the NBA, right? Six years. Okay, so I would think that anything that you're saying concerning the NBA is more factual than emotional Nick fans who want to brag about a player supposedly just playing thirty games and yeah, happened to and, and, and happened to I'm make the All Star. Yeah, yeah. Please, let's clear that up. Julius Randle didn't play thirty games before he got injured. Julius Randle played forty-seven games. Okay, so in order for you to be eligible for the All Star, you have to play half the game or two thirds of the game. So now he got halfway there because he got injured forty-seven in the forty-seventh game, January twenty-seventh, twenty twenty-four. Know your facts, man. Just don't say stuff that's not true because we can fact check it and verify that it's not. Julius Randle does not average 20 points in his playoff career. His no, 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 no. Correction. Career, he said 21. Whatever. First season. He has never averaged 20 points at all in his playoff career. His, his playoff average right now, Google it, is 17.1, 9.4 rebounds, and 3.7 assists, and three turnovers. So that's his stats in the playoffs. So to all you Randall lovers out there who's saying Nick is a hater, okay, let's define what it means to be a hater. Now. You can't hate on somebody when you're telling the truth. Most that's number one. To be covetous of something or want something that person got. We ain't, we don't, I don't care what Julius Randle got. I'm just talking about his play. How can I hate a player? You telling the truth. He plays great in the regular season. And, 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 but see, but see, but see, they don't hear that part. You know, check, 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 check this, check this out. These don't Randall no excuses for. Yo, these Randall lovers got selective hearing. When Nick says Julius Randall plays great in the regular season, oh, they hear that. They hear that part. They but hear you when you say Julius Randle tanks in the in the off season, but they get stone deaf like a deer stuck in the headlights. Like when you say that, they all of a sudden freeze like fucking Bugs Bunny. You got lost in Capistrano some fucking with. You got to tell the truth, man. That man has not showed up. When you look at the, the guys you named, Carmelo, uh, Patrick Ewing, Bernard King, great players, they showed up in the goddamn playoffs, man. Okay? And you told him the truth, man. You, you The regular season, it only you playing for a playoff position. When you get in the playoffs, that's the real real league right there. But you know what? You know what I call this? I call this growing pains for these Julius Randle fans, man. Because I was once like that. Me and you used to go to war. You used to tell me. Your eyes to it and then you saw it. I seen it. I said, yo, Kev is right. I can't give accolades to players who perform regular season but don't show up postseason. You have the best regular season record. Get eliminated in the first round, and guess what? Your people, your fans don't even remember you won your division because of your horrible loss in the playoffs. That's what we're trying to get you to understand. I understand when people say, 
Kev, you don't know what you're talking about. The regular season is important. The regular season is the business is making their money and you players being jockey for a playoff position. Now, out of 12 teams in each division, 10 of them go to the playoffs. So if you're not going to make the playoffs in your division, you don't deserve to be in the playoffs. If 10 of the first 12 teams go, I mean, for real, it was only eight when I played out of 12. So four teams got eliminated due to them not being able to play. They even made it more where you can get in the playoff. So it's no excuse for that. You know, okay, good. I want you to understand the regular season only is the businesses making themselves known as far as networking, marketing, and making money, man. And y'all getting into a playoff position, which y'all was in all year. So it's not like, yo, it's a, and y'all been injured all year and y'all winning without Julius Randle. Wait, 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 wait. Say that again? Y'all winning without Julius Randle. Damn, that's a yellow card for G5 and anybody who agree with his, seem with his narrative. Y'all not without man. Jalen Brunson on the court. Now check this out. Let me ask you this. Let's go. Who's more important to the Knicks, JB or Julius Randle? Who needs who? If it was Julius, if it was Jalen Brunson sitting out, like I think we got Jalen Brunson is more important to the organization than Julius Randle, and it's been proven. Okay, if Jalen Brunson gets hurt, it's hard to replace him. But we have replaced Julius Randle. You got to look at uh, Precious Achua's and uh, uh, Isaiah Hardiston's improvement. Mm -hmm. In, in that fourth spot, Jericho Sims, even though you go-yo on him, he does be effective rebounding and closing closing up the gaps on his defense. He's improved. So it's a lot of things that I see that they made up for Randall. Uh, not only that, but my man Dante DiVincenzo, he's been shooting the ball like he got a crystal ball in his hand or something, man. He's shooting that ball, and that's taken away from us missing Randall. Josh Hart, man. It's playing like a man possessed, getting triple doubles, playing the grit, iron, blue collar worker. That's what we need. Now we got OG back. His, 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 that's what I'm saying. You just don't come back from an injury and think you're gonna be playing like you gonna. You gotta adjust now. You we, and cars is kept. OG and Nobis, and you know is not even 100. percent And so what make you think Julius Randle gonna come back 100? percent You better listen to what Carmelo Anthony said, man. Y'all just totally disrespect what these superstar players say who've been in these situations, man. Melo said when he come back, yo, don't be thinking you're going to get this Julius Randle that's going to be getting 30, and you ain't going to have no time to adjust. So understand that. Not only that, you got to adjust to new players, new schemes, tendencies players got. It takes time. They have reassembled another team in spite of these injuries, and they are successful. So, so basically, what you telling me, my brother, right? Yes, sir. And I know you was never one just to agree, just to agree with. So everything that I said in that interview was, was absolutely correct. And most of the stuff that G5 said was incorrect. As far as his stats, what he gave you as Julius Randle, what he said about Jalen Brunson not being a franchise player, uh, Julius Randle made the All-Star game in 30 games, all that was not true at all, Okay. Jalen Brunson is a franchise player. Why? Because the best player on the Knicks, as we speak, is Jalen Brunson. He averages 28 points a game, seven assists, and three rebounds, and one or two turnovers. His turnover to assist ratio is crazy. So he's the best player on the team. He makes the guys around him better. Do Julius Randle do that? Hells to the fucking no. I rest my game. Now, this is what I want to know. Who are these fans, man? Who raised y'all to think gonna, otherwise? Nah, 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 we ain't got to ask questions, man. Who raised these fans, man? Who York they? raised them. Nah, 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 Yeah, that, that's the truth, man. Mm -mm -mm. And they mamas and daddies. Not these, not these Randall fans, man. These delusional Randall fans, man, that refuse to hear the bitter truth, man. People going to vote for Trump or traitor. So what are you talking about? You delusional. Yeah, strong delusion has been given to us because we don't accept the truth of reality. So this is what it is. This is the karma we get for being stupid that got eyes and don't see, got ears and don't hear, and got a mouth and speak stupid. That's what happens when you do that. That's the karma you get for exhibiting ineptitude and stupidity. You get that back on you. So, hey, I know that the balance that we have, the relationship between heaven and earth is off. So people are all. 
So, so how long we had this bum juice on, on the New York Knicks? Yeah, I'm calling him a fucking bum because that's what he is. He's a postseason bum. He came to the New York Knicks 2019, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, 2019, this is 2024, right? That's about four years. Right? Four years. How many playoff appearances did this bum juice in he the postseason make? Huh? He got us in two. And let me explain something to you. Out of, out of the two. 18.9 against Atlanta, and he wasn't hurt. Okay, he had a good ass team. He had Jalen. He had a uh, Jalen. Uh, um, Derrick Rose. Right. He had Markeith Morrison. Right. He had Mitchell Robinson. Isaac, uh, Emmanuel Quigley. He had uh, R.J. Ifrit, Barrett. Ifrit, some other Ifrit nigga. And then he had a R.J. Payton. Barrett. Yeah, Ifrit Payton. Yeah. R.J. Barrett. And they had the kid they got, uh, Burks. They had him on that team. Alec Burks. They brought him in later, but he was on that team. So no, they didn't have you. Didn't have no bums on your team. You had a mixture of veterans, and you had a good team. And not only that, you always disrespect Derrick Rose. Every team Thibodeau had that went to the Eastern Conference Championship, and every playoff run he had, he had Derrick Rose. So 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 so, so wait a down. minute. So wait a minute. Are you telling me, Mr. Kevin Williams, that during the first season, I mean? The first arrival of RJ, um, Julius Randle being on the Knicks when we went to the playoffs. You had that Derek he wasn't Rose. playing with a bunch of rookies? You had Derrick Rose. Was everybody you rookies? Morrison. You had Mitchell Rock. You had, no, wasn't everybody no rookies? You serious? That thing who you What was that guy we always talk about? Kevin Knox. He was the rookie. That year. They went, he got drafted in 2019. Didn't he, Kevin Knox? He played in that, that bubble, 2019-2020. COVID-19, that was the year that the Knicks went for. Okay, so now we already know the only rookie we had was Kevin Knox. We had a we had a team, a young, good team. And then I don't even think Kevin Knox was on the team then. Because yeah, I think he, he got traded. He got traded in 2021. He, got, he only was there a year. They got rid of him the next year. But he played that year that they went to the, four, in the fourth, in the fourth, and they got eliminated by Atlanta. Okay, we got rid of a man you quickly. You got rid of R.J. Barrett. Yo, you see the way Barrett's playing over there? Emmanuel Quigley and Barrett is playing good, but they don't got a good team. No, but I'm just saying, when you give well, him the gonna develop when you give him the green light, when you don't have a coach like Tom Dibodeau, and you got a coach who actually believes in you, man. RJ Barrett, man, last time I checked, man, he had a 26 point game over there. I think I saw one he had 20, 22. He's injured now. He ain't played the last couple of games. And speaking of Barrett, when Barrett was with us on the Knicks. During the postseason, he had a better postseason run than Randall. Yeah, he averaged eighteen point six his playoff uh, stats, which is better than Randall. Come on, what are we talking so, about here? You know, and then like, I don't understand if you're gonna support somebody like me. I said this about Jalen Brunson. Remember what I said? I said Jalen Brunson is the best point guard in the East, if not in the Eastern Conference. I said that Kyrie Irving was the best point guard in the NBA. And I'm sure I've been proven after I saw him yesterday. So I'm not worrying about that. But Jalen Brunson is the best points guard in the Eastern Conference. I don't care what nobody say. I'm saying it now. Okay? This man is averaging, he's getting 40, 30, leading his team without no team. Making everybody around him better. That is a franchise player. And I bet you when his uh, contract is up, they're going to give him 200 and something million dollars. And he will be the point guard that takes us to the championship, if not by himself. That boy bad, man. I don't care. He, hey, Jalen, you ain't even got to play no defense. Just keep doing what you're doing. Them stupid guards running into you just fall. Just keep doing that. that like that's it. what I said. I like that. That's what I say. Take the charge. You know. And the ball comes in his favor. And I'm and I and I'm Deuce. I like his development. He had a bad game yesterday. But, hey, Deuce, listen, that's going to happen. You focus on the defense, you, you bear down on them. I like what you did on the defensive end. When your game ain't going that well, focus on the defense and get back in rhythm on the steal. Because dudes know how to play them passing lanes. He reminds me of Michael Ray Richardson so much. And he's a more physical defender than Michael Ray Richardson. He defends on the ball better. Now, let's talk about dudes, man. Right? He's going to be all right. I like dudes. Why do Tom Dibodeau wait to the last minute to put players in, man. The only reason why we're seeing Deuce because we got no choice. Tom Dibodeau has no choice but to play him. 
I don't, I, let me say this about Tom Dippo. I seen him put Jalen Brunson in there with Deuce, Dante DiVincenzo. He had like four guards in there with about three minutes to go, and we was up 20. Yellow cap for you fake-ass yo, Knicks hey, fans, yo, man. Hey, yo, Tom Thibodeau, man. When Sucking Randall out here. Take your starters out. You got to save them for the playoffs, man. You playing your players down the stretch is, is retarded, man. You got 20 games, man. I suggest you rest in 10 of them games, man. I mean, 10 of them games, I don't care how you allot people days off, but 10 of them days, you better make sure five of them, five of your players take five of them games off just to rest them for the playoff. And get your bench in order because you're going to bring back your starters who's not going to be 100%. So you got to be on standby to have your starters ready to come in and take up the slack because you don't got no time to be doing that dumb stuff that you do, like what you was doing last year, catering to Julius, and he had one propeller. You do that this year, it's over for y'all. So don't do that. You know, and, I, and, I, and really, I don't like giving you no good advice anyway. Keep doing what you're doing. Now, playoffs is coming. Knicks is in it. We know we there. We're going to be playing. What teams do you think are going to give us trouble, man? Who do you think we should avoid in the first round if possible? And... Who should we approach? I'm worried about Miami. I'm worried about Indiana. I, like me, you gotta know this, man. Y'all told y'all better not count the season as like you know this is your barometer to measure the playoffs. Man, y'all could be the team all season long, and in the playoffs, it's just a different team coming come there and rough y'all up like Miami did. If y'all don't make the physicality and the mental adjustments as far as focusing and not letting the physicality and the referee cheating affect your play, then y'all should go deep in the playoffs. If y'all do, like I was watching uh, Bradley Bill get hit and he started screaming and hollering, I can understand it, but you got to stay focused, man. And I suggest that you hit them with the ball before you get hit. You know, like come in there, throw your elbow, yeah, knock the nigga upside his head because they seem to let them hit y'all like that. So hit them before they hit you. When you dribble, throw, you know, when you dribble and you make your move, when you make the, 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 the uh, how they said, the Euro step, make sure that bow up high. Put that bow up high. So that be that when you coming over, that nigga come in, he gonna get his head cracked because this is, this is the playoff. And there is, this is called the war of attrition. There are no babies here. Right. Can't remember that. Now, uh, another question I gotta ask, man. Yeah. When I say Julius Randle was a bum juice player, right? You were saying the same thing. In the playoffs. In the playoffs. During the season, he's a superstar. Superstar during the Yeah, I said that many times. Man. He's a superstar during the regular season. And then in the playoffs, I don't know what happens to him. So most of the time, he's probably burned out because, you know, the way the coach is playing him. But that's probably what it is. I think that if Julius Randle come back 80%, he'll play better than he did in his last two playoffs appearance because he'll have rest. He's been rest. I, I, I got a question. How come when you say Julius Randle was a bum and you got G5 next to you, he don't argue that shit? Because I got facts to prove it. And I don't? You do, 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 but, do, do my facts change? But he's telling you stuff and you ain't fact checking him right there on the spot. I don't got I to. It's on it's on it's on tape. Fact checked him on the spot. It's on the tape. I said this round made it in 30 games. I'd have been like, dude, no. See, I know what I know the rules and, and, the, and the bylaws and all that, dude. You ain't gonna get that past me like that. You ain't gonna tell me Julius Randle averaging 21 points a game when I know his stats. I be saying it all the time here. Nick. You're not gonna say that. I'm gonna say nah. Like he said that crazy stuff that time about. Uh, Julius, Jalen Brunson and Julius Randle going to have some arguments and they're going to disagree. And I was like, they ain't going to do none of that. You come to those kind of conclusions, I don't know how, but that ain't going to work. Not just him, but the fans in the comments who think like him. Who are you people? People that are entitled to those bad opinions. <laughs> not, I'm not going to judge you. Yo, and then they, yo, 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 yo. Because it can be disproved in yo. the twinkling of an eye. Just like we just disproved all of that. But you got to do it right there. That's why when he goes into that hold up timeout, like when you did the Trey Young, happens in 30. And I know, I always go over my analytics. Okay, timeout, whoop, timeout. And Trey Young averaged 27 points a game. 
what what disturbs me is that you don't admit you made a mistake. That's what disturbs me. If I made a mistake and I don't know, I humbly say I, I was wrong. Like you catch me sometimes, Nick. Oh, Nick, I was wrong. I, you know, I apologize for that. You know, like Kevin Durant yesterday. I feel sorry when I defended him like that. You just let people beat you up like that, and you just soft like Mister made me mad yesterday, Kevin. You better understand me. I really like you. I don't like when people beat up on you and then you don't defend yourself. Yo, he's playing like Randall now, huh? Yeah. Playing like a postseason Randall? Just put his head down and was running up and down, couldn't hit no jumpers. I was like, yo, you don't let them beat you into that. You got to put, you got to have that fight in you. All right, I ain't on. I'm going to the basket, elbowing, kicking, and doing what I got to do. I'm going I'm to I'm be ready to fight a nigga. The fuck wrong with them? All right. Sorry, Nick fans going. for dummies, man. Because we got to find out what is a franchise player. We got Nick fans that don't know. Simply put, the franchise player is your best player on your team. So now, oh, who uh, is, so, let's ask the question. Who is the best player on the Knicks? Randall, of course. Oh, no. <laughs> Jalen Brunson. You know you got to say Randall. Who the Knicks in scoring assist? It ain't that. Randall. Jalen Brunson. It ain't Randall. Jalen Brunson. You not saying Randall. Jalen Brunson. Are oh, you sucky sucking? Sucky, you know you sucky, can't. Fucky fucky. That's the truth. <laughs> you can't say, Sorry. you can't disagree on Randall and not be sucking. Come I know on this now. Much. My Come. boy hit 42 the other night. How much Randall hit? It's Christmas time. Oh, that's my case. Oh, when, when, when Randall hit, he, he think he Larry Bird. Listen, man. He think he Larry Bird behind the arm I shooting all these fucking threes. This is what I want to know. Randall How your shoulder get hurt when you are an outside shooter who barely goes to the basket? How, How you manage that? Game. Uh, he changed his game, Nick. He, what he did was he transformed his game. He became a power forward. He must have listened to us. And he, he took less threes and started ba banging bully balling niggas. And I was admiring that. And then I said, yeah, you see how he playing aggressive? That's going to work against him because that dumbass coach don't know to take him out the game. Y'all was up 20 against Miami. And you should say, okay, we beat the They beat Miami up too. I was proud of them. But the dumb coach don't know to pull him out. Even Miami pulled their starters out. He was... He was playing his starters against Miami's bench. Thibodeau. Culminating with Julius Randle getting his shoulder dislocated. With four minutes to go in the goddamn game. You know, like, yo, that's what I be saying. Like, y'all don't see this, man. He got Jalen Brunson with the second unit with three, two minutes to go in the game. He had 40 that game. You know what Nick fans Look worried up, about? Man. They worried about if you get rid of Randle, who you, who... Are you gonna get to replace him? Giannis. We got Bam. Shoot, we got uh, Aaron uh, that played at um, Aaron that played with uh, number fifty on 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 um, on the Denver Nuggets. Man, we can replace him, man. Piasco Siakam. We go. We can replace you, dude. I don't want to hear we can't replace him. We can replace him and be better because we're gonna get a better defender. Julius Randle can't guard his mother's clothes on our anniversary. No, 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 no. You sucking now. You can't talk like that, man. I'm going to tell the truth. You can't talk like that. that nigga they, they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth, man. We got groupies out here, man. You don't want to hear the truth. We got groupies out here. We got random groupies. No when a baby, you wake up in the morning, you kiss your little baby girl, she going to tell you, Daddy, your breath stink. All right? So that's the truth. What you going to do? Oh, you, you going to do? All right, baby, because it's the truth. So... You can succumb to the truth when a young child tells you your breath stink, and you should succumb to the truth when somebody fact check your ass with facts. Go to Google. Google's your friend. I always yeah. said that. Your best friend. And while you Googling, Google it in the yellow cab because you talking that bullshit, man, for real. And that come goes there. for anybody who agree with that bullshit. Yeah, come there with facts. We know Julius Randle is a great regular season. Oh, 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 oh. But does he prove himself in the playoffs? I'm asking you Knicks fans that. So if you know he hasn't shown up in the playoffs for whatever reason, don't condemn us for talk, for speaking about that. Don't condemn us for saying that motherfucker should not have played with one fucking propeller going up against Bam and them crazy niggas. Let's talk about something else concerning Randle. Why he lie about his injuries, man? That's not him lying. That's the Knicks lying. That's the Knicks lying. That's the Knicks lying. 
just like they lying about OG Ananobi. He's cleared. He come back. He hurt his elbow the first game back. So we don't know what they doing. All they know is they start losing. Jalen Brunson got hurt, and they clearing niggas. They don't care about us, man. They, you all right? Listen, you you all right? Go on out there. Because Julius Randle should not have been cleared to play last year. How are you going to let him play? How are you going to clear him to play? And you know he hurt. Same thing with Kevin Durant. Y'all wasn't supposed to clear him. Y'all cleared him. He went out there, ruptured his Achilles. Yeah, and was out for two years. Now, who, who's the medical? We already know y'all got retarded refereeing unions, but we, I don't want to talk about the medical thing now. But it seems like y'all retarded too. Mm. Damn. That's the truth. So, so if Randall comes back, right? Yeah. What's going to be the outcome, man? Adjustments. They have to make adjustments. Spoiled brat ass nigga might start ISOing and doing all that, and the coach going to cater to that. And what's that going to do? That's going to alienate your new team. You done reassemble the team. You think them dudes, gonna, yo, you going to have to fit in with them, Randall. They ain't going to be fitting in with y'all. They got a successful model without you. They went in without you. Wait, 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 wait. Say that oh. again. Say that again. Man, I'm not even going to Slow say motion that. for you Randall groupies out here. We you saying the Knicks is Randall. winning. We ain't in fourth place in the East, dude. Without no Randall. Without Randall. Since January 26th, dude, we are in March. <laughs> what are you talking about, man? <laughs> We've been winning. It's been hard because, you know, we got to make adjustment because it's not just Randall. Mitchell Robinson went down. OG Ananobi went down. Jalen Brunson been getting hurt here and there. But through it all, we still are in our position. We still there. Now, if it was Jalen Brunson that was hurt all this time. If Jalen Brunson would have been hurt all this time, I honestly think we would have we would, we would, we would, we would, We wouldn't be where we at. They would have. They would have. We would have. We've been looking at the play-in probably, right? Yeah. We would be eight or nine. Huh? We'd be eight or nine because the teams down at eight or nine, their point guard would have been better than ours. Who you would have brought in to replace him? Huh? Deuce McBride's development. It would have took a it would have took a jump start, but it would have been like Emmanuel Quigley when he came into his own against Atlanta. He would have he would you gotta learn, man. You know, that's why I said you gotta develop him a little bit more, and Thibodeau don't do that. I'm a different coach. Deuce McBride will be a superstar right now. He would be coming in, and he would be doing what he want because I, I need him so that when Jalen Brunson get hurt, I put Deuce and everybody, yeah, Deuce, yeah, because he's going to be there. And I'm not going to be playing Jalen Brunson all them minutes when I got Deuce playing good. I can rest him. And then when the playoffs come, if I want to go into that old 8-9 retarded rotation, you could do that and have a healthy Jalen Brunson, but you don't do that. You don't coach like that. Okay. And I'm not telling you that no more. Dude, All right. Keep doing eight nine rotation. All right. So <laughs> Nick fans for that. dummies, man. We gonna learn what a franchise player is, because you know obviously we got fans out here that don't know. They think a, 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 a man who, who who barely makes it to the postseason and then don't play through it is a franchise player who plays thirty games. And then becomes an all star. <laughs> I don't see how you let that one go. No, I didn't. I, I left the tape. Him. No, 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 no. Because it's up. It's up there. Listen, listen, listen. It's up there. Yeah. It's up there. It's up there to stay. So when they hear this interview and they go back and see the foolishness that was being said. Yeah. They, they, there is no taking back, man. Because you know, a Nick, Nick don't edit. So I can't, you know, nah, I say let him hang. When the man said that Julius Randle averaged 21 points during his first year when he took the Knicks to the playoffs, I, was, I just said, I, was like, I just said, yeah, okay. You got to get him, Nick. Get him. I was, I was like, get him, Nick. Get him. Yo. And, and, and you was like, oh, man, I'm not even going to say nothing on that. There's nothing else to be said. You knew, like, man, if you don't know Julius Randle don't average 20 points at all in his whole playoff career, Cut it out. We done went over that. Me and Nick done argued over that. So I was like, you should have got him on that. Say that again. We did what? We argued over that. All right. So this is a message to all you my listeners out there. Over that. Ain't nobody jumping on nobody. Hey, yo, Nick, 
Nick I go to war. Been, Nick ain't never been no Julius Randle uh, fan, but he know we needed him as far as going and getting where we needed to go as a team. But he was sputtering, sput, sput, sputtering all the way. He was letting it, especially when the white boy done knocked him down. We was all upset about that. Fuzzy Zella, whatever that. But he's a thug. He he knocked somebody else down the other day. Mm. Where do you place Randall as a, as a power forward in the league? Huh? At number eleven. Not number one. Nah. Giannis is number one. You don't place him. Put him in the number two spot. Nah. Come on, like man. I am at number two. It's a whole He's not making the number two spot? Nah, he about You mean five, Mr. I, I, could get, I could list five better power forwards than him, man. You know, really. And I mean they play defense, man. And then they rough. You know, and, and, and you know, I need at the listen, I'm the power forward is the anchor, man. But we need Randall, man. If Randall don't come back, we ain't going to never get a chip. Hey, yo, my man, we going to win without Randall. Nah, nah, nah. No, we can't, man. We can man. go far. In the, hey, yo, you got no, we can't, to man. You don't see him playing defense. We got Isaiah Hardison. You don't see him blocking shots and playing defense. As long as we playing defense with our scoring, with Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, and Charles Hart attacking the basket, we going to be just fine. Man. Ask the Randall groupies that question. Do I they see Precious doing what he Randall doing? Groupies. The Randall groupies, Randall ain't playing. So I could care less about the Randall groupies. When Randall come back and play, we're going to hear, we're going to see what y'all going to be saying because you know when he came back the last <laughs> time what happened, right? And the year before that, right? We got playoffs now. We ain't, we ain't no regular season here. We had... 20 games. Jalen Brunson's averaging 28 points, seven assists, and four rebounds in 62 games. You tell me if that ain't a franchise player. Tell me what franchise player on the Knicks average is that. You you Julius Randle fan, so tell me what play on the Knicks averages 28 points. Seven assists and four rebounds and one turnover in 62 games. It's quiet as a church mouse. Yeah, even the birds said Julius. Julius it ain't Julius. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't him. Yo! Right, so what the out. fuck is going on here? Who raised you motherfuckers out then, here? What was bad when you said the truth about Thibodeau and his rotation? Oh, I said some more truth? Yeah, about the rotations. Because, yo, you should... Everybody know Thibodeau rotations is retarded. Thibodeau's rotations has caused injuries. Everybody knows this. Except the, the Julius Randle fans who... Your man been injured since he been playing for this. Thing. Wait, 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 wait. Cut it Don't out, Don't say man. so. I'm Don't say you. that. Yeah, yeah. He, he been injured. Ever since he been playing for this dude. Can we say that Julius Randle's injury prone? No. We can say the coach plays him till he breaks. You you got to break. You got to rest. You, you know, 82 games in a, in a season, eight months of constant basketball, back to back, traveling all through different time zones, eating nasty hotel food, doing all that takes a toll on your body man so if you don't have a coach that knows how to maintain 12 individuals to keep them and keep them pretty much injury free then you got a coach that's like a slave driver who just thinks oh when that nigga break i'll go get another nigga pretty much what the fucking uh, knicks do damn i'm sorry to put it that way but so, so basically, you saying we got to get rid of a coach and a power forward in order to to get over the hump. I think that if we traded Julius Randle for Bam Adebayo, or we traded Julius Randle for Gianni, just hypothetically speaking, we would instantly become championship contenders with the team we got here because we play hard defensively, and that's the intangible factor. Our defense, man, you, it's hard to score on us. And now we're getting physical. So now I'm sure Thibodeau is teaching the physicality principle. But there's certain defenses. See, like the way I play defense, I wouldn't be allowed. Yeah. I wouldn't be allowed to play. Uh, I wouldn't be allowed to play. Yeah. You wouldn't be, wouldn't I wouldn't be, be allowed to play. I would probably foul out every day. Because I played 92 feet. I guarded you 92 feet. You know. 
Only thing I didn't like was my dumb center not calling out no pick. Now, I'm going to talk about Miami, man. Some say Miami is a dirty team. Oh, very. They got rid of Kyle Lowry. They took him to Philly, so now y'all got to worry about the Sixers, man. Kyle Lowry, dangerous. When the Knicks That's play Miami Heat, Heat, should we be concerned about them injuries? That's not fully recovered. No injury Clint. fully recovered, that, especially those type of injuries. Those type of injuries, like a separated shoulder, takes about a year to fully heal. So now you getting them out of there in three or four months, and then you're going to get them out there to bang again. So you bang and you can re, re uh, jolt your shoulder back out of place. Once your shoulder go out of place, it's never going to permanently be back in place. It'll always go. It'll always have a tendency to go out of place. Believe me. So that's a that's a that's a uh, thing that we should be uh, leery of. That you take them and bring them back too soon. Like you brought OG Ananobi back too soon because he ain't scoring or nothing. He missing. He's still playing good defense. But he's not effective scoring. I saw the last couple of games. He's not. He's struggling scoring. So, and you know what? A lot of Knicks fans is not really that thrilled about Bogdanovic. Bogdanovic is. I like him some nights because he can shoot, but he's not consistent enough. He reminds me of Quentin Grimes. You know, you, you got to look at the schemes. Like, long as they don't have their players there, and he's one of the guys they depend on to shoot. He's going to shoot. But when Julius Randle come back and you got Jalen Brunson, Julius Randle, and Dante DiVincenzo and Bogdanovich out there at the three, nah, he's not going to get no shot. Why you say that? Because Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, and fucking Julius Randle going to take all those shots. He's going to be like the, you know, the, the, the release guy. Like when they all key on them, I hit Bogdanovich. Like how Jalen Brunson used to do with uh, – with with uh, Quentin Grimes, when he did, when everybody was covered, he hit Quentin Grimes because they all didn't guard him, and then Quentin Grimes would get in rhythm. And then once they spread it out and get back on him, he go back to Julius Randle, go back to R.J. Barrett, go back to his regular dudes that get him a sit. And in this case, Dante DiVincenzo because he's shooting the ball extremely well. Man. Another question I'm gonna ask you: Yeah, why do Nick fans, right? It's the settlement for Eastern Conference. I'm hearing this Eastern Conference, Eastern Conference. That's one step away from a chip. I want for, them to get to the Eastern Conference. I don't know what can happen after that. I don't know, you know. But is, should that be the ceiling? I, that should be our goal once we get to the Eastern Conference Championship. I think they're good enough to get there. I'm being honest with you. They're good enough. That team fights, man. You don't see how feisty that team is? That's a... That's a team nobody want to play against because they don't, they don't, we don't quit, man. I mean, we don't quit. We fucking fight, man. Give Thibodeau credit for that. You know, you do got a fighting instinct in your team, but you got to learn how to rotate them, man. That's my only, only uh, thing against you. You don't rotate your players right, you know. And on top of that, you know, you know, you know, not like certain players, you know, like, you know, get certain coaches like that. Unfortunately, I had to play for one like that. Damn. So you got us possibly going to the Eastern Conference. I got y'all going to the Eastern Conference final. Still. Now, yeah, still. We got Jalen Brunson. Nigga, any man, listen, dude, anything can happen with him. <laughs> you better know who you got. You better watch this boy. You understand? For but real, but, but, but Randall's not bad, playing. Man. He's not playing. Randall, I don't care. Rand, Randall's Randall sitting Brunson. out. And listen, you need Randall. I don't need Randall. You I need him. Brunson. I don't need him. Man, you better stop that sucky. I've been telling you. You like, sucking sucky. Hey, dude, I've been telling you. Listen, was I, you know, everybody <laughs> remember him? When I told him about Jalen Brunson going to make the All-Star team, remember he said he wasn't going to make the All-Star team, and he told you about this dude named, really his name is Tyrese Halliburton, but he calls him Halliburton or whatever he call him. <laughs> Him and he named the little dude Trey Young. He said that J Jalen Brunson was behind them two. You remember? Mm -hmm. Jalen Brunson made the All Star team. Didn't he? Averaging forty, like back to back. I never heard nobody say somebody got to step their game up, and he was hitting thirty six and thirty eight, <laughs> like nine, ten times. I was looking at him like he was crazy. I said, dude, and then I was, he was averaging 26 then. I said, yo, dude, 
Julius Julius was averaging 22 then. I said, dude, tell your man to step his game up. Because that's retarded what you're saying. Jalen Brunson got to get 30, and we got Julius Randle out there, and he ain't getting 30. But credit to Julius Randle. I guess a lot of people feel that he came to the New York Knicks when nobody else wanted to come. That's what I'm hearing. Hey, it ain't my fault your owners are racist and carry sheets and walk around <laughs> with goddamn white horse. That ain't my fault. Your, your, your owner is racist. So, you know, and you can tell me he ain't. You know, black people have a tendency to defend him. But no, he's a racist. I was there, so I know. They, they hired a man named Dave Checker, a racist. I remember um, I fouled Carl Malone. When, uh, he was in Utah. Carl Malone was going to come at me. And I backed up. My man, Xavier McDaniel, stepped to the ML man. I told him, you hit my man Wild Dog, and the mail ain't going to be delivered today. And I remember Dave Checker's cursing at me. Calling us all kind of names. I didn't even know who he was. He was the president of the Utah Jazz. Oh, he wrote me a letter of apology. Okay. Anytime you want to talk about it, you racist cracker, let me know, Dave. Because you know you did that. Okay. Man. That's, you know, you got to deal with people like that. So there's racist and racist people in the NBA that smile in your face but hate you. Okay. And they own teams. So that's a fact. I didn't mean to be, you know, tell the truth. That hard reality about the racism in this country, but it need to be spoken about. Because we tend to act like it don't exist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Mitchell Robinson, man, what you think the future's gonna be? They're gonna trade him. You think so? Right. He is his usefulness here is over. And not only that, uh, uh Isaiah Harleston as he merged. And I don't think they're gonna put him back on the bench. Not only that, Isaiah Hardison has proven he can play hurt. He's more valuable. Okay, and he's gotten, he's made that leap. He now has become a, a certifiable backup. He's now a certifiable starting center. Block shots, he scores, he, you know, he plays good, man. You know, you got to give him credit. So you don't think it would be wise to have Mitchell Robinson um, playing the second unit? Instead of just scratching I, 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 I want Mitch Robinson to go to Phoenix and go play with Kevin Durant. Man, down there, I think if he man, you to trying Phoenix, to get them a chip, man, before the Knicks. Listen, man, the Knicks don't want to play uh, uh, Mitch Robinson the way they already talking about replacing him. So now I'm hearing what the brain trust is saying. Okay, what well, if you going to send him? Send him there. They not going to sit uh, Isaiah Hardison down no more for that. Okay, and he's injury prone. So who's to say when he come back, he's going to be 100% too? Who's going to say that? Who's to say any of them guys that's injured going to come back in that little tight 16-game window? We got. Due to you know, physicality and all that's going to go down. They're not going to be ready if they're not ready. They're not going to be ready for that. You got to be battle-tested from these last 20 games coming here. And they're not even playing in these last 20 games. Knicks bench during the postseason approaching. They deep. Got a deep bench. You know, they got Bogdanovich, they got Deuce. Man, they got a deep bench, man. You know, they got they got players, man, on their bench that can play. Okay? The thing is, is how you Thibodeau going to utilize them in the playoff. Injury can occur. How are they going to adapt? I think that Thibodeau did good in, in spite of the uh, injury to, to uh, Julius Randle. I thought I thought he did good. I thought he, you know, he made the adjustment pretty well. Y'all didn't lose anything. As a matter of fact, y'all went through a little slump, and then y'all came back, and y'all 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 got back, you know, right where y'all at, third or fourth in the East. So. Now I want to ask you another question, my brother. <clears throat> I mentioned Carmelo Anthony, same players, right. swap. Postseason bum juice out. You put Carmelo Anthony in. Different results? We would probably win. We would definitely get to the Eastern Conference Finals. A lot of people, when I was reading the comments, 
was talking that crazy crap about Melo didn't win nothing. Hey, yo, dude, you better talk about Phil Jackson disassembling the team that he had around him and putting some really terrible players around him. Okay? Thus weakening the team because he didn't like Carmelo. He couldn't trade him, so he just said, well, fuck it, I don't want him to win. And that's because you hate a guy so bad. That's why Phil Jackson is the devil. He looked like the devil on Hot Sauce Box. <laughs> Evil ass nigga. Did oh. that. So talk about what he did before you start. My mellow didn't win nothing. You got sabotage, man. Front off of sabotage. Is Carmelo Anthony a better power forward than Julius Reed? Hands down, man. The only power, the only forward I think was better than Melo was Bernard. Man. And that was because his release was incredible. But Melo was a great shooter, man. I like Melo in high school, man. He could shoot, man. Like his son, man. His son could shoot, shoot just like him. So, you know, he's a great shooter. And not only that, early Carmelo was a rough dude, man. Like, yo, he rough Kobe ass up one time, man. I'm telling you, man, Carmelo was rough. He transformed into this great shooter. But when Carmelo first came into the league, them first five or six years with Denver, he was a beast, dude. For real. He just became a refined, great scorer, a great shooter. Do you feel that Julius Randle changed the face of the Knicks since he came? How? <laughs> Jalen Brunson did that, man. Come on, man. Huh? Jalen Brunson changed the face of the Knicks. Now, now you yeah, know, Kev, you Craig can't say you, shit man. like this I'm saying and, and, and not be sucking, man. I'm, you, 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 I, you. Come on, man. Listen, hey, listen, come on. How come you can I say it and, and I can't? How saying saying come you can say it? Brunson was the best point guard in the East. I ain't taking no flag no more. Right or wrong? Jalen Brunson's the best point guard in the East. Who's, who got something to say about that? All right, James. So it's Christmas time. Leave it at that. Now, the playoffs is here. My man Jalen shows up. I suggest you guys get around him and show up with him. And we we can get to that Eastern Conference Finals. No, that's the goal. That's Once the goal. Get there, we got where we got to get. Better look at your opponent. You want to walk around town with your nose broken and your jaw busted up? Because that team you got to take out is willing to die before they let you win. You better have that mindset. And you better be ready to crack them, niggas, so in order for you to take what they ain't going to just get. That's the mindset you better have. Boston Celtics. Got that should, we, should we be worried about the Celtics? In the game. I don't care about the Boston Celtics. If we have that mindset, I don't give a, I don't care who we play. So we could be anybody. Right. After what we did to the Denver Nuggets. You seen that game? I didn't even see the game. Oh, we destroyed them by fucking 30 points. They did that here. They played Denver. They played Golden State tonight. They played Denver, uh, I think, Wednesday I, in Denver. So... Nick fans for dummies, right? We learned something today. A franchise player is the best player on the team. Exactly. And the best player is... Jalen Brunson. Which means that Julius Randle is not... The franchise player. Okay, so we learned that. Nick fans for dummies. We also learned that Julius Randle never, ever in his Nick fan life averaged 21 points in any playoff season with the Knicks. Ever. Ever. And if you don't believe me, go to Google and say, what is Julius Randle's playoff average? And it will come up 17.1, 9.4, and 3.4 assists. Now, if you agree with some shit like that, that means you don't know basketball. If you agree with that, that means you know basketball. No. If you don't agree with that, if, if you don't, don't agree, know basketball. Yeah, if you agree that Julius Randle made up shit. Just making up shit. Yeah. And, yo, you can't make the All-Star team playing 30 games. You got to play 42 games or more. Say it again. Maybe he played 31 make games. The All-Star game. 31 games he played. You won't make the All-Star game. 32? You have to make 42 no, games. No, 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 no. What about 39? Had to play what about 39? Exactly. Let's say he played 39 games. You wouldn't make it. So who are these people that's going around saying that Julius Randle played 30 games and made the All-Star? Conjecturers. You know what a conjecture is? It's a made-up story. <laughs> so the one that made it up is the conjecturer. Wow. You, I don't even know how you come up with that. He only played 30 games. Where you get that from? And where you get people to agree with? See, that's how cults be started. 
<laughs> yeah. Jim Jones yeah. and all that. And you drink that boy. And you drink Kool-Aid. the Kool-Aid. <laughs> You drink the motherfucking Kool Aid. You, know you it, make you, that shit you're real sweet. Sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> you're oh sleepy. shit! Before what long, the... you done drifted off the the dirt nap. You ain't getting. You nothing. ain't getting up. Your ass is out, Jack. Hey, who that... raised these people out here? <laughs> who raised them? We sure didn't. Yeah, man, because you hear men screaming and shit, and it, it sounds good. It man, sounds that good. Shit was wrong. And raw, and then to have people admit it, like the people, like he, right, he, yo, G, G5 dropping balls. <laughs> <laughs> I said, what balls? Yo, yo, but, yo, 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 but real talk, man. G5 is my man. I'm, I'm happy Not that he G5 come on the show. On, man. Tell the but, but tell the truth, man. That's Ain't nobody going to fabricate that. Julius Randle basketball legacy, man. We going to keep it 100%. Keep it 100%, this man. This is a great regular season basketball. That's it. Oh, and for anybody else who out here saying that he's he he's anything beyond that. You lying to yourself. And, and, and that's nasty work. Miracle evidence. You know who you are. Lying. That's nasty we'll work. show it to you anytime you want to see it. Like you, like I do it all the time with him. When he start going off into those, these tangents that not seem to border on fantasy. We have to get the Google phone to bring them back to reality. Yellow cat for all you Julius Randle lovers. It just no. went by. Hop in. Some go in the trunk. Some hey, go in the back for seat. y'all next to do well. I hope y'all get to the Eastern Conference Finals. I would love to see y'all get to the championship. But like I said, I don't know what the NBA offense got planned. But they sure, I sure the Knicks is in it to get there because everybody is starting to root for the Knicks. Everybody's starting to see the, the, the Now, why is that, man? Because we're a gritty team. A team like that don't quit. We ain't never out of it. We always fight, man, to the end. You got to look at that. Okay, now we got to focus that to be physical in the playoff. We got to be gas house gorillas. I mean, we going to be the Knicks. Man. We them boys. Man. We going to be them boys. We going to beat the hell out of people and make noise. That's what we got to do. Don't tell me all that old nice stuff, quiet boy stuff, because the NBA playoffs is not nice. So I don't want you thinking that it is. You better look at how they've been beating up players in these last few games you saw this weekend, how the refereeing is horrible. They don't call. Players is getting upset with it. That's what's getting ready to come down in the playoffs. You're going to see a lot of a lot of fouls, a lot of miscalls, and you're going to see a lot of altercations due to that. I want to mention something a little bit off of Nick basketball, right? Because I think we buried a hack shoot. I think we, Nick fans for dummies, I think the, put the lesson Get out the there. Get the memo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I want to touch on John Moran. John Moran says something crazy. See, it's not just Nick fans who talk crazy. This whole generation of basketball fans is on some other shit. You feel me? John Moran came out his face and said, if Michael Jordan, the same Michael Jordan, the way he played when, when he was in the league, had played with them, yeah. that he would have been just another superstar. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I think he probably would have got shot the way they be playing with guns, but I'm just saying. Let, let's talk gonna, about his skill set. Listen, man, I'm not even going to comment on that. Yeah, he said that Michael Jordan about, would be just another. Talk about two different eras. Let me say this, y'all. If you played in our era, you would have got cracked before you got to the basket. You'd have to adjust your game. We wouldn't have just let you fly like that. It was too physical. So you would have got hit before you jumped, <coughs> and then you would have got hit by a giant smack down before you got up in the air. Those big men do what I played would hurt you, man. Okay, so you wouldn't be going up in the air like you're doing. They would grab you and throw you on the floor. And then if you would have got up and act like you wanted to fight, oh, they would oblige you there too. Because that was a fighting league when I was playing. Okay, so... You know, so are you saying? So, so are you telling me that nah, the NBA got him soft? Yeah. You look at a guy like Draymond Green. I love Draymond Green because he played like how we play. That's how we would be playing. You see how they villainized him, but he's a throwback. That's how we play, just like Draymond Green played. You see, he's successful, right? So you gotta understand, don't don't y'all hate on him, but he's a great player because he played hard and he played rough. 
y'all can't take that from me. So, yeah, and also, y'all can't take them four fucking rings. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Draymond Green on the Knicks, man. I can't, because they ain't going to allow that. Draymond Green is right where you at. And Draymond, when you call it a career, don't even play basketball, because they're going to destroy you. They're not going to let you do that. You do that because you got the right guys around you. You got Steph and all of them around you. And, you know, the atmosphere is, is allow you that. Once you change that atmosphere and go somewhere else, that atmosphere is going to change for you. So just know that. All right, so Nick fans for dummies, man. I'm talking to an NBA player, six years, who's giving you the fact truth of all, all facts, facts. All facts. When it comes to how many games you got to have under your belt. Exactly. To go to the All Star, exactly. and it's not, not thirty. That, Julius Randle played forty-seven games, not thirty. So that whole premise was wrong. That whole premise was was wrong. Okay, so you know we have to clear that up. Okay, we have to clear up the scoring average because he never averaged twenty points in his playoff. And, and a average. franchise player, he's not a franchise player. You sure he's not a franchise player? How much did you when Julius Randle went out? Wasn't he averaging about what 25, 24? Come on, 25 and 10? He's not a franchise he player? He 25 and 10 before he got it. I think it was 24 and about 10. You, you mean to tell me he never averaged 25? I keep hearing this 25 right, and fucking Jaylen 10. Jalen Brunson is averaging 28 points and 7 assists. And he's winning without him. That's the difference. I don't think Jalen, I don't think Julius Randle could win without Jalen Brunson. Jalen Brunson can win without Julius Randle. You sure about that? I'm positive. Because we're talking about Julius Randle here. Mr. 25 and 10. The greatest power forward the Knicks ever had. The greatest powder puff in the playoffs the Knicks ever had. <laughs> Stop and sucking. That's when it counts. So I don't care what you do. I'm not. You, you I'm must not, be I'm sucking, not, I'm man. I'm not going to say this again. I don't care what you do during the regular season. Because the regular season is just an organization making their money. And y'all players jockeying for a playoff position. That's all it is. The playoffs is the best teams in the league vying and fighting to show who's the best. That's the real season, okay? I ain't gonna say it no more. All right, now we almost done, man. I, I, it's like 56 minutes, man. I just, I just, I just wanna give you a whole full hour, man, of <laughs> truth. I'm gonna give you the hour of truth. Right, the truth. This is Nickavelli for dummies. <laughs> Nickavelli for dummies. <laughs> uh, Nick fans for dummies well, or some well, shit. Well, once we get through uh, giving you the pages off of this book, you're going to be a Nickabelly fan for the rest of your life. Yeah, you know, come on, man. Check it. Yeah. You know, we ain't going to do the Reverend Ike. Just sound good to get your money. We're going to tell you the truth. And if you you know, if you want to give us something cool, if you don't, take your... Nah, I'll money. take the money. No, we I'll take, take it. Truth. Cause I, cause, 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 the, you because 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 the church need you know you know my choir need robes and shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know you got you got God you. will provide. <laughs> no doubt. I believe in real God. Damn, yeah. man! Never heard of the bullshit in my life, man. I know that I had to. Li I listened to that. I had to call you. I see your Nick. So I didn't call you. You called me. I think I called Nick. I yeah, called yeah, 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 yeah. I can't lie. I had to call Nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. I said Nick, man. Listen, man. <laughs> and what we did, we laughed and yeah, we I laughed. Said, listen, man. You can't be letting them tell you stuff like that. No. And what and, did I and say? He gets insulted with you when you try to fact check. Him. So you be like, okay, you he's good at diverting away from it when you get ready to fact check him. But see, I time I hit him time out and pull the phone out. But see, I can't you know do that when I'm holding the camera. That. But see, I can. So hold up time out, we're gonna get to the phone. And you fact check him because you gotta I, we tell him that all the time. You five before you start making those statistical errors, make sure your stats are correct. Because they can be disproven and prove you not to be truthful. But, but you just can't fault him. You got to fault the fans who think alike, who think, who believe that shit. Listen, what about them? If I take a test and I get an 80 on it, and you take a test and you get a 50 on it, but yet you get the marker and you make the five into an eight, <laughs> this is what we have here. <laughs> You almost did. I want to give you an hour, man. We have 59. I want to give you at least an hour. Because you don't need the extra 19 minutes on this work. This is light work right here. This is here. what we have here. I just want to give you that somebody hour. somebody cheating on the test. <laughs> 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 so, 
show. Yes. Oh, that's it. Shit. I love everybody. I wish the Knicks the best, you know, and Jalen Brunson, I pray that you don't get injured, man, because we need you, because if you get injured, I, I don't know. So I hope Deuce develops. I hope Deuce come back and play good. Dante DiVincenzo, keep shooting. Josh, keep doing that. Keep doing what you're doing. And, hey, I hope Mitchell Robinson and everybody get, get well and come back and contribute, man. I really do, man. All right, and that's what it is, man. He's New York Knicks. Everybody. Oh, before I leave, I just want to shout out to Miss Tashina Whitlow. Thank you for waking up every morning and seeing your beautiful black face. Because with this woman, it proves there is a God. <laughs> and we out. Peace. <laughs>